Hello everyone, Jimmy Herd O'Reilly's. I've got a vehicle here that I thought I can do a little experiment on just to verify something uh, for people that don't know and for myself out of curiosity and it's something that I've myself in the very in the past I've been accused of not changing the oil when I have changed it. I had a customer say, you know, I've checked the engine oil and it doesn't look like you changed it. And I do see it's a common issue here and there I've seen stories of it online you know saying I've had my car service and I've checked it and it doesn't look like the oil's been changed but this is a diesel engine so I've got a vehicle here that's due a service so this is a Freelander there you can see it says oil service due contact your dealer okay so let's get the engine oil changed on this now if we look at the engine oil on this this is not a particularly car it's not a car that's been particularly neglected it's been taken well care of, but you can see there the colour of the oil is a nice black. Okay, so let's get this oil drained out. Okay, now we've got this oil out, we're going to drain it back into a barrel here. So now we remove the oil filter here and we get a new filter fitted on. Okay now we've got 20 litres of oil here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to refill the engine now and then check the oil again and if it needs the oil changing again I'm going to change it again then again and we're going to see how many times we need to change the oil before the oil looks like it did when it went in. Okay so we're going to put this engine oil in see there it's a nice gold colour almost clear really okay now I'm gonna let the engine run for a couple of minutes with that old end with the new engine oil in just gonna hold the rev up now for a minute or two just to get that oil to circulate okay now let's check the dipstick You can see it still looks black, but not as black, more of a brown on this one. Now depending on the car of course, the oil can look blacker, but it is pretty black still. You see there. Let's drain that a second time. You can see there, that is still coal black. This is the second oil change now gone in. Now let's fill that again. Give you a close up look at the colour of the oil there. Now again, close it up and we'll restart the engine. Okay, now we're going to run the engine again for a few minutes. Okay, we'll let the engine idle back down, turn it off, little dipstick check, we still have black oil, and it's time for another drain, that still looks as black as the first one, this is the third time the drain oil's been drained now, now this is the third oil drain there coming out, Slightly more brown now. So here we go again, another oil change. Same procedure again, we'll run the engine for one to two minutes and then change the oil again. Alright, looking at the dipstick we have what looks to be a slight change in colour, more of a grey but it's still not clear. 
Let's give that a little wipe again there. Get a little bit on my fingers. There's not much there though at the minute. Definitely see it's clearer on the finger now. Now I'm gonna do another oil change. I should have put the flash on. So it looks a little bit more clear. Still black though. Now we're drying this again. And again we do another refill, clean oil. Close it up. And again we hold the revs for a minute or two. Okay now we look at the dipstick. Certainly looks cleaner. Looks like clear up the top here. Now I'm gonna drain it again. Yeah, I'd say that's certainly as clean as it's probably gonna get. And it's almost transparent now. Slight grey tint to it. So here is the last oil change. Now I do realise after doing this, trying to make this video, a couple of things I could have done better, which is use a clear colour or a different colour oil pan so we can actually see the colour clearer. Of course with the black background on this case it's, it's not very not very clear to see. So that is two barrels of oil there that's come out of the Freelander. Another thing what I should have done is I think I probably should have got a couple of clear glasses, so half pint glasses. Took a sample of the oil from that one, second change, third change, fourth change, fifth change, etc. And then I could have compared the colour of the glasses from each one. Um yeah, I was just realising that now after I've sort of made the video, but maybe next time on that. You can see there from a little bit of the spillage that I got, that is the colour of the oil that's came out now. So I would say that's pretty clear. Now we'll fill it up with the final top up, this one's going to stay in. So this is our final result, colour of the oil. And try and find a clean patch of the towel here, give it a little wipe. what colour we have. Alright, now that's all done, we're going to reset the service warning here. So that is it, Freelander oil changes, how many did it take to get it clean there? I think I've lost count myself, I think that was five oil changes that we've done. So that's it, we'll see you on the next video.